One of the most divisive topics that drummers have been debating forever is whether or not it's cool to use stick tricks when you play. Now, of course, I look like an absolute moron when I do stick tricks because I never use them when I play. So they feel forced and unnatural. And when I try to incorporate them into my playing, say for the purposes of this video, I just fold entirely. But of course, we all know that there are some killer drummers out there that can throw in stick tricks in a smooth and clean way without disrupting what they're playing. And I totally respect that. That is no easy feat. But if I'm being honest, I really have to say that stick tricks haven't done anything for me since I was like 15 years old. The main stick trick that I've been focused on is this little novel thing called playing the drums well. You know, the ultimate stick trick. But having said all that, I was once a kid and I did go through a period of time when I got really into learning stick tricks. And a few of them have stuck with me over the years, not because I use them when I play, but because I use them to warm up when I don't have enough time before a show, or maybe there's not like a room where I can just chill with a pad. So today I'm gonna break down three stick tricks for you guys to get you going in the right direction with them. The first one we're gonna check out, I'm gonna call the whip. This one is great to start with because it doesn't require a lot of strength and it does a great job of loosening up your forearms and warming up your fulcrum. To start, you simply hold the stick like normal, then turn your wrists as if you were twisting a doorknob, and as you turn, you open up your back three fingers, leaving only your thumb and index finger gripping the stick. As the stick is whipping, you continue that turning motion until you're back to the starting position, where you can then close your hand to complete the motion. Once you work out each step slowly and get comfortable with it, it turns into one smooth whipping motion. All right, next up, we have probably the most popular stick trick of all time. We'll call this one the classic. This one really works out your fingers and tendons going all the way down your hands and forearms. You start by placing the stick at its halfway point between your index and middle finger. Then you turn your hand back and forth with that same motion as before, only this time do it just enough to get the stick to rotate back and forth. Then you simply move your index finger down and up over and over again, which pulls the stick around and causes it to spin. And to really warm up your entire hand, you can do the same thing in between your middle and ring finger and your ring and pinky finger as well. All right, our last stick trick is by far the most difficult and of course, that's the one that looks the coolest. I'm gonna call this one the helicopter. With this one, you start with your hand under the stick, gripping it by just your thumb and index finger. Then you bring your middle finger underneath the stick and pull it up, causing the stick to swing towards you. You then continue that same process again, but this time with your ring finger. Again, you move it under the stick and pull up, causing the stick to swing around once more. You then pull the stick down with your index finger, sending it back around your middle and index finger, allowing you to catch the stick with your thumb to end the motion. And if all that sounded like a bunch of nonsense, well then imagine what it was like for me to sit there and microanalyze all these little motions. It was a huge pain in the butt, okay? I'm so sorry. Honestly, the best way to learn this one is probably just watching me demonstrate it in the video. That's how I learned it back in the day. I just saw a couple buddies doing it and it took me a few weeks to figure it out. But with all these, you guys just take your time with them and work out the mechanics nice and slowly. And after a while, you'll have some really smooth and fluid stick tricks to use to warm up and build up those oh so sweet drumming chops. So that's gonna do it for this one, everybody. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. You take it easy. Bye-bye.